Hello, everyone. Today we celebrate Law Day, and for many, it's the first time in more than two years that we've been able to gather in person for this annual event. That alone is worth celebrating. Law Day this year is marked by conversations across the nation about the Constitution in times of change. No matter how old we may be, we've all experienced change in our lives, particularly in the last two years. Our country's ability to adapt to change is part of our greatness as a nation for more than two centuries. Let's talk about the Constitution with that in mind. It was written after the Revolutionary War for 13 colonies that broke away from England and banded together for a new nation that needed a stronger framework to govern itself than what had existed before under the Articles of Confederation. The framers debated about the structure of the new government for a good deal of time. Some wanted a strong central government. Others favored a stronger role for the states. The end result of the historic conversations at the Constitutional Convention was a constitution that established three co-equal branches of government and also guaranteed individual rights we hold dear, rights and ideals that define us as a democratic nation. You may be surprised to learn that there are dozens of constitutions in our nation. In addition to the federal one, each of the 50 states also has its own state constitution. New Jersey's original constitution is one of the oldest in the nation. Our first state constitution was adopted in 1776. It was revised and replaced decades later in 1844 and replaced again by the modern constitution of 1948, which governs us today. Like the federal document, each state constitution outlines a framework for state government and protects individual liberties. The federal and state constitutions work together in this way. Federal law, under the federal constitution, guarantees certain basic rights that apply throughout the land. Beyond that, though, states can offer greater protections than the federal constitution does. That's true in a number of areas of law here in New Jersey and in other states. If you haven't done so yet, spend a few minutes and read the Constitution or the Bill of Rights, the first 10 amendments. As you do, imagine what our country was like when they were written back in the late 18th century. That's important because the document as well as the debates at the Constitutional Convention are still relevant today. Each day, they help guide decisions made in courts throughout the nation. Think about what that means. The Fourth Amendment, for example, protects us against unreasonable searches and seizures. So in 1795, a constable had to go to a judge and get a search warrant to be able to search a person's home. The same is true today. Law enforcement officers have to apply for a search warrant to get permission to search a person's apartment or car. And that protection applies to all types of personal property, including things the framers could never have imagined. Courts look to basic concepts in the Constitution to decide whether the police need a search warrant to track the location of your cell phone for an extended period, to decide when law enforcement can force someone to unlock the contents of their iPhone, to determine the limits of infrared technology and how it can be used without violating a person's rights. We can't predict what society will look like 100 years from now and what constitutional challenges will come about from new challenges we can't foresee. But we know the Constitution will protect individual rights and liberty as it has since the founding of our great country. And that is worth thinking about today as we celebrate Law Day.